Welcome to my channel, Tango Vlogs. I'm so excited to be here today. Today, I will be reviewing Makeup Forever's Artist Rogue Cream Lipsticks. And I'm going to tell you, I'm actually going to not tell you, I'm going to show you how to get this particular lip look with one of the Makeup Forever Rogue Slip Cream Lipsticks. I'm so excited to share this look with you guys because it is so awesome, so unique. Um, the color is just so amazing and yeah while I'll give you like a slight mini review let's actually jump into the actual review so um so I actually paired up um actually this is a partner video with influencers and makeup forever if you see my snapchat yes this is legit this is real this is really happening I'm so excited so blessed so highly favored so I'm really excited to be actually doing this video with you guys because makeup forever is one of my favorite brands um, if you actually follow me on Snapchat, I obviously did a, um, I did like a kind of like a mini kit show through walkthrough and you could tell that I love Makeup Forever because I have like a couple, if not like all of their Makeup Forever palettes because I'm really obsessed with them. They're just so much I've always versatile that like I just like enjoy using their makeup pa eyeshadow palette. So to try their lipsticks, I'm so excited to be doing this. So yeah. Yeah. So anyway, about the lipsticks, so the one... I don't know if this is the one that I'm wearing, but I'm about to take it out. I think it is, actually. This is, it doesn't even have, it just says Artist Roll Cream, but it's C5502. And it's kind of like this purpley gray, and as you can see, it's on my lips. And it's so creamy. Um, it's very, it's not a gloss, it's um, not a matte, it's a gloss um, lipstick, so it's not, um, you know, it's super hydrating, super creamy. The pigmentation is off the charts. I feel like it doesn't split. I know a lot of high-end, high-end like um, lipsticks that aren't kind of like iffy, but like one swatch and you're done. You don't need a lot of lipstick. It's very pigmented. Um, and then the packaging itself is so beautiful. It's like, it's kind of like a tower almost. It's so cute. It has makeup forever right here. It is so cute. Oh my goodness. I did a swatch on Snapchat. So that's why these packages are open. But it's so awesome. Like I really love it. And it's super creamy. Like cream. Like it's totally worth it. So obviously I swatched this one already for you. So I'm just going to go into the next two. So you can see how well they swatch. And I didn't grab a mirror. So I'm using my phone for a mirror. And I just, I'm using a Dollar General makeup wipe because, you know, we bought one of my budget here in St. Glow. St. Glow Vlogs. And I'm just going to take it off. Ooh, it's kind of stainy. Now, this particular lip look, I did kind of a couple of different things because just by itself it didn't work well on me. But at least you'll get to see what it looks like on me without it when I actually do my tutorial. So now that I'm on that, lips are nice and clean. It actually did not take a lot to get it off. Okay, I lied. Because it's still a little purple. It's a little tinted. It's a little tinted. Just a little bit. <laughs> it's a little tinted. But I'm going to go into the next one. And I think they sent me like a ruby, ruby, wet, ruby, blue, red kind of vibe. This next one is a classic red lipstick. I'm going to swatch it for you guys as well. For you all. And yeah, I wonder if I can, you know, just too much like that. Okay, so I wanted to snap the cap to the bottom. But yeah, I'm just going to throw this on. Even though I don't need it. Ooh. Now, the only reason why I don't like or love red lipstick is because it gives me a mustache. It gives me a mustache. Um, I don't know what it is. It's just a thing that I have. But y'all can see this mustache that I have. Or is it actually... Oh, no, it's actually there. No. No, it's a shadow. Okay, it's a shadow. So, yeah, it gives me, like, this legit mustache shadow that other lipsticks don't. So, for me personally, it's seriously, a, like, a big pet peeve of mine. 
that I do not wear like red lipsticks but it is fabulous a very fabulous lipstick color I love the shade it went on beautifully like I saw me glide it on I did not need a lot so I'm really impressed I'm impressed makeup forever yes as always I'm always impressed with them so yeah I'm gonna take this off <sighs> So the color for this one was actually the C404. So if you're looking for the red shade and it looks good on you, yes, C4, C4. And I'll put it in the comments below just in case you missed it in the video. I'll put all of the shades in the comment section below so you don't have to ask me. And if it's already on Sephora, I might as well just go ahead and link you to the shades on Sephora. I'll do you even one better. So you know what I got. Okay, so the final shade that I'm wearing is the C502. And it is... Oh, I lied. C502 was actually the original shade I started with. So, <sighs> let me see. C502, C404. So, this one is C211. And these creams are just like amazing right now. So, the final one oh, is a classic nude shade. I'm so excited because y'all know I love a good nude lip. This one is a little bit like a dusty rose color. But I think that's like a perfect nude for me. Like I've been sent a Dusty Rose every single time. And I don't know if that's like an influencer thing. Because I was wearing the first one. Okay, so this one is so cute. I love the color. Um... I'm starting to think that this naturally wear all the time like a dusty rose color and I think it's cute and it's like a natural lip shade so yeah it actually kind of goes good with this eye makeup which I think okay so um now I'm about to show you the um final color the color that I started with but I'm just going to show you how I got that look because once you once I put it on you're going to realize that like all that extra stuff did not come with it so yeah okay so back in with the 5, 502c Thank you so much.